Hi, welcome to Avery Glenn. Let's go check it out. So welcome to our Scotty crib. This is where we lay our shoes. So when we come in, we like to take our shoes off. Um, the carpet is white, so taking your shoes off definitely eliminates some of the dirt that may collect on the carpet. But let's go check it out. My name is Cameron Thomas. I am a current sophomore. I'm an English-Spanish double major, and I am from New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, this is an Avery Glen quad. So it's four um, people to an apartment. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Right here is our living space, our living room. Um, we're girls, we like to make things cute. So you'll see um, a blanket and an accented pillow, blanket, accent pillow, a trampoline chair, because um, we like to chill a lot in here, a TV. And um, occasionally we'll do our homework in here, but not often. And it's really just a chill space for us to relax after a long day. Here we have our kitchen. We have a nice high island. Um, feel free to get some chairs that sit really high. My friends like to eat here, but we have to stand because we forgot to get chairs. So feel free to get some nice high top chairs. Um, here is our table. We occasionally eat at this table. Sometimes it's for homework. You can see we have a pile of books stacked up here. Um, so we'll use this table for homework sometimes, sometimes food, depending on the occasion. I personally like to cook as, do, as does my other roommate. Um, so we'll cook a lot in the kitchen. As you can see, you know, we have always got dishes. Um, one thing I will say about the kitchen, especially in being in Avery Glenn's apartments is you need to make sure that all of your roommates know the rules. I think that is the biggest thing to consider. Um, when are we gonna take out the trash? Do we wait until it's full? Do we wait until it's halfway? Who's gonna do the dishes? You know, just making sure everybody does their part. Um, we have some ingredients here. So the way that we kind of organize these cabinets are, this is my cabinet for my snacks, my roommate's cabinet, my other roommate's cabinet, and then everything else is just kind of organized neatly. Um, we have a dishwasher. So if you don't like to wash dishes by hand per se, I do, um, just to make sure the dirt is gone. But if you do not like washing by hand, we do have a dishwasher that is available for use. Um, and yeah, this is pretty much the kitchen. It's a nice size. We have three people in our apartment. So when we walk in and out, it's not a whole lot of space, but just enough space to make sure that one bump into each other and a fully stocked fridge. So you do get a refrigerator. So I would say we all like eating together, but cooking independently. So when I cook, I do not like anyone being in the kitchen. Um, as you can see, you literally walk in, walk out, not a whole lot of space. So when I cook, I like to make sure that I'm the only one in here. But when we eat um, food that maybe I've cooked or my other roommate, we do like to eat together. Okay, so one of the great things about being in Avery Glen, especially from Winship or Walters or really any other place, is that you have your own laundry machine. Oh my goodness. So this is our washer and our dryer you also have two racks um as you can see all of our cleaning supplies are here um we do have a mini um ironing board you know we need to iron clothes and that's pretty much it cabinets aren't enough i'm a huge snacker so i bring to you my snack rack and that is my term i am copywriting it so if you use snack rack make sure you say Cameron came up with it. But here you have really just my array of snacks. Um, I move around a lot during the day. Sometimes I'll come home, I'll grab a snack off my snack rack um, and I'll keep it going. And I actually got this um, my first year. So I put this in my dorm first. Then I came to Avery my second year and I was like, wow, um, my snack rack will continue. Okay, we're gonna check out my room, my humble, little bachelor pad so i share a room um with a roommate again this is a quad so each person in the quad shares a room and i guess i will lead to my room um this is my side again the pink so very expected this is my roommate side she's a lover of music so you can expect a lot of posters her favorite color is teal so consequently teal and pink kind of um match so that was good we do have stepping stools so i am pretty tall but these beds sit kind of high and they are adjustable i should mention that um they are adjustable to whatever height that you'd like 
Um, so I do have a little stepping stool so I can get up here a little easier. Um, under our beds are storage units. So the school provides this storage unit, this brown storage unit. Um, I have a lot of clothes as does my roommate. So we had to go to Walmart, go to Ikea, you know, just buy some extra storage bins. Um, no more than 10 or $20. Um, not bad at all. So I have this extra storage unit and I have this one. Um, and then it leaves a little space for maybe a dirty hamper or something like that. Um, just in case I need to store any extra clothes. When I study, I need absolute focus, minimal noise, complete silence, no distractions. So I complete all of my schoolwork at campus. I will be in the library until sometimes 11, 30, 12 o'clock. Um, then I'll come home. I'll be with my friends and, you know, just kind of um, sit and hang out with them. Then in the morning, do it all over again. So in, in short, um, I don't complete a lot of homework here only because of what I need as a student and my academic preferences. However, my friends, um, my roommates, they do complete a lot of work here. So while I'm away at school, maybe one will go in their room, one will come in here because I'm not here. Um, she'll use her light to do her homework. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. She'll sit at the table sometimes. It really just depends on um, where she'd like. But as for me, I do not complete any work here. So I think that the important thing to realize is that um, you need to know yourself as a student and as a person. What do you need? What type of environment do you study the best in? And really just um, getting that down pat so you can have a great academic journey as well as a college one. Both roommates share one closet. Both my roommate and I have a lot of clothes. So sometimes it may be difficult to pack all of our clothes into one closet. That's why we have the extra storage bins and things like that. So we kind of have come up with an even type of system. Um, this half on are my clothes and then from this half on are her clothes. And then we kind of just split the um, divide down the middle. Um, there's really not too much to say. Uh, the only thing I will say is that if you are one to have a lot of clothes, I would consider um, even leaving them, leaving some of them at home. I know that's what I had to do. I had to bring home a lot of clothes, maybe during break, just to make sure that I'm being considerate of my roommate and then not overpacking myself as well. This is our bathroom. Um, I'd say that one thing that I love particularly about our bathroom is um the personality so again my favorite color is pink you'll see a whole lot of pink um pink shower curtain just accents of kind of pink everywhere and really just um having your own bathroom and not a communal bathroom i love winship love walters whole lot of memories there but communal bathrooms are not fun it's big enough for us to be able to move comfortably um but not too small to where you know we kind of feel cramped so that is our bathroom. Our apartment is in a little cubby hole. So our balcony is right next to this beautiful tree. And now that it's spring, we get to see it blossom. It is so much fun to look at. Just getting a breath of fresh air. We're literally so close to the tree. You can touch it. It's so nice. Um, and then as well as just having a nice size balcony. Um, I personally have never had an apartment that has a balcony that I can always go out, maybe eat a little breakfast in the morning, um, get a fresh air, get some fresh air at night. Other people's balconies sometimes have furniture. Um, they'll have outdoor furniture, maybe a little table, a little chair. We didn't really get around to that this semester, but definitely in the future, I would recommend just getting some chairs and just um, having fun out here because it's really nice. And when the weather is great, it's even better. So. Okay, this is my other roommate's room. Um, this is the master bedroom of the quad in Avery Glen. So here you will see her desk, her bed, a little stepping stool like we have, um, another bed, pillows, another desk. So one thing that you can see about this room is that it's significantly bigger um, only because this is considered the master bedroom. So as you remember in the other video, um, 
it's a bigger room but a bathroom detached so sometimes that may be a problem if that's something that you're okay with i highly would recommend the master room um you can follow me to her closet so another thing about the master room is that it has two closets so each closet has a full double side um you can see full double side i want to make sure that you can see the closet but it's basically um, just like the um, other bedroom, except it's a full closet for one person. And the other side is basically the same. So here we also have the bathroom that is attached. Now I will say that the bathroom size is pretty much the same. So that's, um, that's good. But the only thing is again, that it's attached, you know, using the bathroom, being in the bathroom, too much. I would rather not deal. So um, I do enjoy our separate bathroom, but bathroom, two closets, bigger room. That's really all that is um, there to the master bathroom. So my roommates are my closest friends here. I'm so grateful for them. Um, we've been through so much together, especially in this space. Um, so we met each other our first year. It was our second day. I live six hours away. They live relatively close. Um, so they weren't that far away from their parents, but I was. So we all kind of just bonded over just missing our family, being at college for the first time. Um, it was all crazy. So we all walked out of our dorms in Winship and we looked out of the window or out of the door and we were like, hey. <laughs> so we all were kind of just like, hey, like, what's your name? Um, we sat down, one of my roommates was popping bubble wrap and she was like, are y'all the girls who were texting in the group chat? Because that's what first years do. They make group chats with too many people. Um, so we texted in the group chat, we met each other and then that was kind of it. So that's how I met my closest friends. Um, I would like to talk about um, the commute. So Avery Glenn is down the street, quite literally, from Agnes Scott. So it's Agnes, and then it's a couple of little places, um, and then it's the boutique, Blue Hanger, and then there's Agnes. So it's maybe a block, um, if even a block. I do appreciate the distance a little from Agnes Scott after a long day of school. I don't really want to be stuck at school anymore so I get to come home to our little abode, um, relax, and then the next day do it all over again. Thanks for stopping by. Um, this was Avery Glenn's Quad Apartments. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and feel free to ask any questions or if you have anything else that you would like to see, um, make sure you hit us up.